Hi there! What do you usually consider when choosing what clothes to wear daily? We usually choose the type of clothes we wear depending on the state of the atmosphere or what we call weather. Weather is a mix of events or conditions that happen in our atmosphere over a period of hours or days. A thunderstorm, a snowstorm, and today's temperature all describe the weather. Weather is highly variable day to day and from one year to the next. For example, the area you live in might have a warm summer this year and a much warmer summer next year. This kind of change is normal, but when the average pattern over many years change, it is now called climate. Climate refers to the average weather conditions in a place over many years. The climate in the Philippines is tropical and maritime. It is characterized by relatively high temperature, high humidity, and abundant rainfall. Temperature, humidity, and rainfall or precipitation are the most important elements of climate. Using these elements, the climate of the Philippines can be divided into two major seasons, the rainy season from June to November and the dry season from December to May. The dry season can be further subdivided into the cool dry season from December to February and the hot dry season from March to May. The climate of a place varies from one area to another. The reasons for these differences can be quite complex, but there are some general factors that can be identified as affecting climate. These are latitude, altitude, topography, distance to oceans or large bodies of water, and ocean currents. Latitude is the specific north to south grid position to earth ranging from 0 degrees at the equator to 90 degrees at the poles. Lower latitudes around the equator get the most sunlight. As latitude increases, temperature decreases. Altitude is the height of an area above sea level. Generally, the higher an area is, the colder the temperature is. Temperature usually decreases by 1 degree Celsius for every 100 meters in altitude. Snow can be found on top of a high mountain even when the weather is warm in the valleys. Locations at a higher altitude have colder temperatures. The altitude of a place affects the air temperature. Let's take for example Mount Kilimanjaro. It is located in Africa and found near the equator so we can conclude it is warm in these areas. Mount Kilimanjaro stands 5,895 meters above sea level. The peak of this mountain is covered by snow. How is this possible? This is because the air temperature decreases as the altitude increases. Why do mountaineers wear jackets and thick clothes when they go up the mountain? At higher elevations, there is less air. The air molecules are farther apart, thus making the air less dense. Less dense air cannot absorb much heat, making air temperature decrease. Ultimately, the decrease in air temperature is due to the decrease in air pressure. The farther you are from the Earth's surface and its gravitational forces, the less gravity you will experience. It allows the particles in the air to expand, which reduces the air pressure even further. Air expands as it rises and there are fewer gas molecules including nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Thus, they have fewer chances of bumping into each other. Topography refers to the natural features or arrangement of an area like land. A mountain is an example of topographical features of land. Mountainous areas greatly affect the amount of precipitation in a certain region. As you may notice, the picture shows the two sides of the mountain. 
One side is facing where the wind blows and has lower temperature. This side is called the windward side. Here, the wind is blocked by the mountain, forcing it to move upward. As it moves up, the water vapor condenses and forms clouds. This will result in precipitation on the windward side. The air moves down towards the opposite region called the leeward side. On this side of the mountain, there is no cloud formation. The cold air mass starts to absorb heat and becomes warm and dry. As a result, the air near the leeward side becomes dry and has less precipitation. The dry region on the leeward side is called a rain shadow. Vegetation in this region include desert plants and grassland. Areas that are close to oceans and other large bodies of water tend to have more moderate climate changes between seasons. These areas also tend to have higher average precipitation than landlocked areas, although there can be exceptions. Landlocked areas are the locations in the center of large land masses that tend to have drier climates and extremely high temperature annually. Oceans heat up and cool down much more slowly than land. This means that coastal locations tend to be cooler in summer and warmer in winter than places inland at the same latitude and altitude. Glasgow, for example, is at a similar latitude to Moscow. But Glasgow has a milder winter because it is nearer to the coast than Moscow. Ocean currents move like rivers. They flow through the ocean in different directions. Currents are caused by the wind, earthquakes, and gravity. Some currents are warm and some currents are cold. This picture shows different loops of surface currents around the world. In the northern hemisphere, the current flows in a clockwise direction. On the other hand, in the southern hemisphere, the current flows in a counterclockwise direction. These clockwise and counterclockwise movements of ocean currents are caused by the Coriolis effect. Ocean currents that flow away from the equator carry warm water. The air above the warm water has higher temperature. When ocean currents take along warm water towards a coastal region, the temperature of that place increases, resulting to warm climate. For example, the warm Kuroshio current that comes from the northeastern part of the Philippines brings warm water. This raises the temperature of places in the southeastern part of Japan. Meanwhile, ocean currents that flow away from the poles carry cold water. The air above the cold water has lower temperature. When ocean currents bring cold water towards a coastal region, the temperature of that area decreases, resulting to cold climate. For example, the southern parts of Singapore and Indonesia have lower temperatures because of the cold air brought by the West Australian current. Therefore, ocean currents that bring along cold water inland make the climate cold. On the other hand, ocean currents that take along warm water inland make the climate warm. Now let's wrap things up. Weather is a mix of events or conditions that happen in our atmosphere over a period of hours or days. On the other hand, climate refers to the average weather conditions in a place over many years. The factors that affect climate are latitude, altitude, topography, distance to oceans or large bodies of water, and ocean currents. That's all for now! We will be discussing about certain climatic phenomena that occur on a global level, like the greenhouse effect, climate change, and global warming in our next video, so stay tuned! See you on our next video, and don't forget to keep your minds busy!
If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.